Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here with a quick portrait retouching technique from John Weegley. So back in 2004, John sent me this tip and somehow I, I had never seen it until last week. So I guess if you send me a tip, it's probably going to be a while before I get around to seeing it. Uh, he uh, had been reading one of my books, saw my technique for removing hot spots. Hot spots are these shiny areas that you see on the skin that look shiny and sweaty and they're just not very attractive. And so uh, I showed a technique for getting rid of them. And he said, hey, here's what I do when I have a lot of them and I want to get rid of them quick. So uh, I tried it and it worked. So uh, <laughs> Here's how it goes. You start off by duplicating the background layer. You'd press Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows to just make a quick copy of the background layer. Now you're going to get the brush tool from over here in the toolbar. You are going to change the blend mode from normal up here in the options bar right up there. We're going to change it from normal to darken just like that. All right. Now, all we have to do is hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows. And we are going to sample some skin nearby. So Option click on Mac, Alt click on Windows, and we're just going to paint straight over it. Now, of course, when you just paint over it, it's not going to look very good, but we're not done, so don't, don't worry. So let's just kind of get rid of these areas here, all these little shiny spots. Now, we don't want to remove them altogether because we would be losing the highlights. We just want to take the shine off them so it doesn't look sweaty and shiny. So go to your Layers panel. Go to the Opacity and set it all the way to zero. Now when you do this, look at the image. All the sweaty, shiny spots come back. You are going to then raise the opacity slowly until the shiny part goes away, but the highlights still remain. So something like that. And it's pretty much done. So his technique comes back from the gray from 2004 buried somewhere in my email i found his technique and tried it and son of again it works thank you very much to john wiggly for sending that in and for allowing me to share it with you guys here now if you like stuff like this if you like photoshoppy stuff and you like photoshoppy stuff from like 2016 or later <laughs> go by kelby1.com sign up for the 10-day free trial I have tons and tons of classes with a bunch of some of the best Photoshop people in the world. Come and check them out. They're full-length, in-depth courses of even new stuff. <laughs> stuff from after 2004. So I hope you'll check it out at kelby1.com. Thanks, everybody.